Hi, my name is Simon Locke. I'm the founder and CEO of Communications Match. Today, I'm delighted to be with Linda Dunbar. Linda is the founder and CEO of Diversity Decoder. Linda, what do leaders in corporate America and the communications industry need to do differently if they want to benefit from the opportunity diversity represents? Uh, well, I think the first thing is they need to really, really, really embrace the business case and really, really think about it. Because five years ago, McKinsey said that if you're in the top percentile of companies that know how to do racial and equity diversity right, you get 35% better returns than, your, than your, the industry average, right? And 15% if you know how to do gender. So if you could just do something and get a 35% pop, you would be focused on that every minute of the day in terms of business return, right? So uh, there are a lot of great benefits to uh, diversity and we really have to embrace that and think about that. And um, the other thing I think that people can do differently or need to do differently is really understand the history of this country. Uh, a British journalist by the name of Gary Young said that facts matter. It's impossible to understand the present if you are deluded about the past. So we really have to understand that because we are actually living the past every day. So everything that you see today in America is based on our past. So we really need to unpack it. And companies need to not be shy about that because when we talk about systemic racism, we're talking about things that industries have done and upheld over the last 200 to 400 years. So the idea is not to back away from it. The idea is to embrace it so that we can take it apart carefully, thoughtfully, and as fast as possible. With your new training program, you ask course participants to watch the short film Burden that has them walk in the shoes of a successful African-American professional for a day. Why is this so important? For the folks that this happens to every day, it's an opportunity to uh, validate uh, and sort of check in with, okay, I'm not crazy. And it's not just happening to me. When George Floyd was murdered, a lot of people woke up and they were shocked because they were like, I thought I lived in one country. This is not the country I know. But this is the country that many people have been living in for the last 400 years. So this is an opportunity to see uh, where race and we tend to uh, sort of put race and income together. So this is an opportunity to see a well to do successful person who is black and what he has to do and face every single day. And I will say that the writer and director, uh, these are experiences, he's a lawyer, um, so he's got a JD degree, he's also a director. He's, these are incidences that occurred to him and he's put them into a film. So I think for people who don't believe this is real or don't, have never seen this, this is an opportunity to, to, to see it and experience it. You have an extraordinary academic and professional uh, background. Uh, you've lived in different countries uh, and speak multiple languages. Are there takeaways from your experience that can help others on their diversity journey? Well, I think the first thing uh, to take away, and I'll kind of back into my background a little bit, is, and we all know this in business, whatever it is, it's about them. So it's not about you, it's about them. So when you're trying to decode something, it's not about what you thought it was. It's about when somebody sees your advertising, what do they think it is? So that means you really got it. You've got to step out of who you are and say, how does this look to somebody else? Just the way burden is an opportunity to step out of who you are and think, how does this look to someone else? So when you learn a different language or when you go to a different country, it's not about you per se, it's about learning what other people do and how do they experience things and what's important to them uh, and, and what they value, which is different maybe from what you value. So it's a really good opportunity because when you look at diversity, it's really about breaking down, well, what are those things that make us the same? What are those things that are different, but that we need to respect and understand? 
Many companies have been vocal in their support of the Black Lives Matter movement over the last year. What advice do you have for communicators and CEOs who want to lead on the issue of diversity? Well, the first thing I would say is don't try to fake it because it's never going to work. So this is this is one place place where you know fake it till you make it. Do do, do not want to do that. Um, but I will say that it's a great. This is a great opportunity to really embrace uh, where we are now uh and where we want to go and also understand again i mentioned the history of this country but really understanding the history of this country and why is it necessary for a group of people to get up to say that their lives matter and and why is anybody surprised about that why is that even a controversial statement so i think uh corporate america today is very aware that black lives matter doesn't mean that other lives don't matter. It just means that we're having a problem with black lives and how they are uh, not respected and not upheld uh, the way other people's lives are. So I think this is a great time to embrace where we are. It's a great time, I think, a, a perfect time to be supporting Black Lives Matter. Uh, and it's really important to really delve in and understand what that means.